Uh, so here's a quick update of the armored car mode for Springer. Um, uh, he rolls better this way, obviously, with the sword on top. Uh, you don't have to put the sword to sword to store the sword underneath. So if you want him rolling um, in a more freely, much freely way, um, yeah, he's this wheel is a little bit up. But I wanted to show that if you tab the this part of the arm onto this part of the foot and do it on the other side, if you tab them correctly without paying attention to tabbing it here, the panels do line up squarely and flush and there's really no trouble, no problem of them just wanting to just move apart from this center piece. Uh, so if you do tab them properly right here, they're going to be flush as well as here, here and everywhere. Um, there's uh, just this part which is just a little bit farther from the center piece but the issue with these two um, door panels or windows is gone as you tab both of these uh, together so that's nice it's really nice uh, on my figure this one's a little bit elevated it's probably just a quality issue on the clearances here on the shoulder as you can see as you move it here this thing just wants to to go out and then you try and snap it again he just moves up so yeah you can't have everything um, so uh, this one in the instruction says it should be propped up like that uh, maybe as a sort of pseudo spoiler or whatever I don't know but it looks nicer that way so um, anyway so you've seen me do this so it's nice you can actually mount these things here um, like so. So there you go. That's just a nice update, a little quick update on the on this particular alt mode of Springer. If you're watching this video first, you can go and check out my full review of this figure. Uh, I just did another lengthier video, obviously. Go check it out. I do have Sandstorm. I'm going to review him next. No, not next, but uh, I'm going to review him soon. Um, so do stay tuned for that as well. So that's just the update uh, for the Springer alt mode. Thanks for watching.